All right. Uh, here's a, a a tip that I that I found um, when I was first working um, one of my early jobs. Uh, the laboratory that I was working in had access to ethyl alcohol. Um, most most laboratories have access to isopropyl alcohol (IPA), um, and um, so I use I use isopropyl alcohol all the time um, here in the garage. Um, and one of the things I use it for is to clean uh, the rosin flux off of PC boards. And I've always found that using isopropyl alcohol doesn't completely clean the board very well. There's always kind of a residue left over that's sticky. It's hard to get rid of that stickiness. Um, and so you end up using stuff like this, uh, which is flux remover. So it's some fancy, fancy chemical. It probably says on here, oh, you can get the data sheet off of the blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it's got a bunch of stuff on it that cleans uh, PC boards pretty good. Um, it's, it's pretty expensive because it's, a, you know, ice, uh, uh, in a spray can, and uh, this was $15 for this. So pretty, pretty expensive stuff. And you, so you go through a lot of it. I don't like to use it because it's expensive. Um, and then this leaves a residue. So the place that I used to work had access to ethyl alcohol. And ethyl alcohol seemed to clean off the, the flux really, really well without any, any stickiness behind. So I finally um, was on eBay the other day, and I, I found that you could, you could get uh, ethyl alcohol on, uh, on eBay. Um, and uh, you probably can get this off of eBay, too, this isopropyl stuff. I uh, bought that at a local store here. Uh, bought this at a local store here, but I uh, just recently got my ethyl alcohol. And what I like to do with the alcohols is to put them in these little uh, pump containers. Uh, so this is an official one. Uh, probably came from a lab somewhere. It says isopropyl alcohol and a fancy tag on it. Um, you can buy these little pumps off of eBay too. Um, if you get them from the chemical locations, they're quite expensive, um, but these are also used in the, the nail salons. Uh, they put uh, things like acetone in these uh, pump containers for, uh, for cleaning nails and stuff. So uh, unfortunately, this pump doesn't seem to work too good. Uh, I don't know if I can. Sometimes if you put your finger on it, you can create a suction, and the, then the fluid will start to come out. So uh, I have a PC board here that has uh, sort of some cruddy uh, Cruddy uh, soldering job that I did here. So uh, I take these 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 acid brushes, and I, I take a pair of scissors and I snip them off to have a, a kind of a short, stubby uh, length to the uh, length to the uh, bristles. And I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of scrub this area here where there's a whole bunch of rosin flux, and then I'm gonna use a uh, an air gun. I have a compressor in the. Oops! Whoa! Just a second. <laughs> okay, I dropped my air hose. So we're just gonna we're gonna blow off the. Uh, and now my compressor's going, so you probably can't hear me. Sorry about that. Just a second. All right, it's nice and quiet again. Anyway, I think that does a really good job of removing the uh, the rosin better than the isopropyl alcohol. Um, so. Anyway, if you get a hold of get a hold of some ethyl alcohol, I think uh, I think you'd be I think you'd be happy with it. Um, there's another another little area down here that that needs clean. I'll also go over the whole board. I probably used uh, isopropyl alcohol on this board when I first when I first built it. This is one of those 8085 uh, 8085 boards, um, and then just use. Pressed air and yeah, that's looking pretty good. And it uh, doesn't leave that tacky stickiness that uh, that the isopropyl seems uh, seems to do. So anyway, there's my uh, tip for the day.